hello there it's your girl Daphne back with another video this time we're going to be doing some amazing DIYs so I hope you guys are ready let's get started so our first DIY is going to be a wooden stocking tag and these tags are absolutely beautiful you'll see them all over the place um, they're really easy to make um, I'm using this little cutout um, that I purchased at the Dollar Tree uh, for a dollar and I picked up three of them one for myself one for my husband Marino and one for our son Alex and I'm just going in um, with a little uh, brown paint on this one and then I switched over to using my folk art wax so I did an additional coat on this uh, round and then I did one coat on the balance two rounds just to make the color a nice deep color. Um, so you'll see here, this is how they turned out um, with the one coat of the wax. And then I went in and I used my uh, Cricut machine to just do uh, the decal. One saying mom, the other one saying dad, and then the third one saying Alex so that we can have personalized um, stocking tags and I'm just going to be um, removing all of the excess uh, vinyl material I use this um, freehand text um, that I did in the design space which is the Cricut uh, program and I'm just weeding it removing all of the excess vinyl material and I'm going to be attaching it um, to a little transfer tape and then I'm going to be placing it on the wooden round and then it's going to look absolutely beautiful. It's a personalized tag um, that I basically made for less than two dollars. So the round was one dollar and then I'm going to go in with a wooden bead and a little, um, a little uh, twine and make it look absolutely beautiful. So it's something that you'll be able to recreate. If you don't have a Cricut machine, you can just use a stencil and you can just stencil um, the names on there or you can get um, a pre-made uh, stencil, um, a pre-made decal or transfer from any of the craft stores. And you'll be able to recreate this and um, have a lovely tag and save yourself so much money. So I'd like to introduce myself again. My name is Daphne. I wanna welcome everyone to my channel that's new, that clicked on my video for the first time today, welcome. And to all of my loyal subscribers, welcome back. I really appreciate you guys each time that you watch a video of mine. And I'm so happy to be able to share videos to, with you guys each week. Currently, I'm putting out videos twice per week on Tuesday and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this time of year, it's about DIYs on Friday and all seasonal decor. So I hope that you guys enjoy this type of content. And if you're not already subscribed, that you will subscribe and join my YouTube family. I would be absolutely so excited to have you. So I hope that you will join. So now that we have these created, we're just going to add them into the living room and attach them to each of the stockings. And I'm gonna give you an image of how it looks.
So our next DIY I actually shared in my last video. It's these amazing little um, animal cutouts. And I purchased these at Joanne Crafts and I'm just going in with um, one layer of the full card wax. And this looks absolutely amazing. Um, these are all raw wood cutouts and they look so cute nestled inside of the Christmas tree. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, these cutouts I believe were less than a dollar um, for each of them and they just look so beautiful once you're finished. I'm making sure that I take the tag off and then I'm also going to be um, putting a little wax on the actual pick um, so that you know it doesn't show but I just like to always finish off all of my projects. So here's just some close-up images of the little bird and the deer and just all of the little uh, cutouts just nestled inside of the tree. Leave me a comment down below and let me know um, of the three DIYs which are your favorite. Okay guys so we're getting started with my Christmas scroll and I did a poll a couple of weeks ago now um, on my community tab and I just asked, I gave you, I think it was three options and then I also um, gave the option of doing a write-in and I just wanted to take a poll to see what you guys uh, would like me to have on my Christmas scroll. This is gonna be going on my mantle and it's gonna be um, right layered on top of the white um, cabinets that I have on the mantle so it's just going to be a nice little pop of color it's going to be uh, this uh, craft paper and then I'm going to be finishing off the edges with these wooden dowels and I'm just giving you an image of the blade that I've been using I got a couple of questions in my last video that I was using my miter box and my blade and it's actually a Japanese pull saw and it works really well with the miter box and I purchased it at um, the Home Depot several years ago but you can always check it out at any of the home improvement stores. So now we're moving over to just measuring out um, the craft paper and in this case I'm doing a double layer and the finished measurements of my sign is going to be 15 by 19. So I just cut the dowel to fit and I was a little hasty and I uh, cut my dowel because I was going to do it in a different dimension. So at the bottom I'm going to just glue two pieces of dowel together and you won't be able to see it at all. Um, what I did to make the, the um, craft paper flat, I just went upstairs and I pressed it with my iron to just make sure that it lays um, really flat. So I'm just um, putting the two the top and the bottom of the dowels and I'm going to be attaching it uh, to the craft paper but because I cut the edges of the dowel I just want to go in and just coat the edges um, so that it's it, this the sign is absolutely clean finished and there is no unfinished wood so after I coat that let it dry a little I'm just going to be using the tacky glue to attach it to uh, the craft paper
So the saying that was selected was, Oh, come, let us adore him. And I absolutely love uh, that quote. And so what I'm doing is I am using the reverse side of the decals um, because the other side is sticky. So I'm turning it on the reverse side so that it doesn't stick until I'm able to get the correct layout. And guys, I am not the best with uh, spacing things. Um, I really should measure, but I never do. So it's always a little off, but I think that that adds to the character of my signs. So I'm just laying it out, then I'm going to turn it over once I get uh, the best layout, and then I'm gonna transfer it onto the sign. So this is the finished product. I absolutely love it. Um, this is vinyl decals that I created on my Cricut. And it's going with the same theme with the um, white on the brown. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I purchased um, some double stick tape at the Dollar Tree and I'm just using that to attach it on the back. And that's how I'm going to be adhering it to uh, the cabinets. And you're going to see here in a second, I'm going to um, show you an image of how my final mantle looks. I think it looks absolutely beautiful and I'm so happy that I was able to share this with you. I want to thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I really appreciate each and every time that you come back and watch another video. I want to thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I want to remind you, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope that you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and share with any friends and family that might like my content. And before you leave, take a look at these videos and have a blessed day.